With the Fluke 3540FC, measurements can be viewed on your handheld device or your desktop computer, enabling quick decision-making and real-time collaboration between team members. On your handheld device, launch the Fluke Connect app. First step is to create an asset. Tap on the three horizontal lines on the top left corner of the screen, then select Assets. Next, tap on the three dots on the top right corner of the screen and select Add Asset. This screen allows you to document the asset name, select the associated asset type, and provides the option to add photos of the asset and its components. After completing the necessary fields, select Next on the top right corner of the screen. Next, select the current status of the asset. This is simply the functionality status of the asset. If the asset you'll be monitoring is in normal working condition, then select Normal and document notes below if needed. Select Save. Now that we have completed creating the asset, let's proceed with setting up a monitoring session. Tap on the three horizontal lines on the upper left corner of the screen, select Home, then select Setup Logging or Monitoring. Select Three-Phase Power Monitor, then select Start Session Setup. Since you will be doing a remote monitoring session, select Remote Monitoring. On the Power Monitor, press the Monitor Logger button. On your handheld device, select Continue. On the power monitor, press F1 to configure the measurement settings, topology, range, and ratio. Make your selections by using the arrow keys and then save enter button on the right side of the power monitor. When done with the configuration, press F4 to go back to the monitor logger screen. Select continue on your handheld device. Press F2 to verify the connection of leads and clamps. Upon verification, press F3 to go back to the monitor logger screen. Select Continue on your handheld device. On the power monitor, press F3 to change mode. Using the arrow keys on the right, select Session Setup, then press Save Enter. What we're doing now is initiating connection between your handheld device and the 3540. Select Continue on your handheld device. On your handheld device, go to Settings. Under Wi-Fi, select Fluke 3540. The eight-digit code in the brackets is your 3540 serial number. When prompted to enter a password, please refer to the Power Monitor screen for the passphrase. This is the password you will enter on your handheld device. Once connected, next is Asset Assignment. Select Assign Asset and go to the asset we entered earlier. Select Ungrouped Assets, then select Test. Confirm Selection, then select Save and Continue. Add Alarm to set parameters, or skip if you wish to set at a later time. If you do wish to set parameters, select Add New Alarm, and select Alarm Type. In this example, let's select Voltage, Add Above Voltage Alarm, Set alarm limits, select who you wish to receive notifications in the event the reading falls outside of set parameters, then select Save and Continue. You will then see the screen which will provide an option to add new alarm. If you do not wish to add a new alarm at this time, select Save and Continue. The next screen shows an at-a-glance view of the 3540, the asset and asset path, and the set alarm. Verify the accuracy of the selected asset and the alarm parameter, then select Save and Continue. On the power monitor from the Change Mode screen, use the arrow buttons on the right to select Remote Monitoring, then Save, Enter. Press F1 to select SSID. If a password is required to connect to your selected SSID, this screen will prompt you to enter it. After entering the password, select Save Enter. This is when the power monitor initiates connection to the cloud.
Then press F4 to go back to the monitor logger screen. On your handheld device, select Continue. On the power logger, touch Start Monitoring. Measurements will now be sent to the FluConnect cloud. On your handheld device, select Continue. Select Open Phone Settings to reconnect your handheld device to the internet via Wi-Fi or cellular data. Once connected to Wi-Fi or cellular data, go back to the FluConnect app and select Done on the bottom right of the screen. Once taken back to the home screen, scroll to the bottom and select View Active Monitoring Sessions. The Active Monitoring Session screen will display the session you just started. If you have multiple sessions, the most recent will appear on top. Tap anywhere on the Monitoring in Progress session, and it will take you to this screen where you can scroll up and down to see the graphs and modify to display voltage, current, and frequency via the drop-down option. With the FluConnect Condition Monitoring System powered up, you can now monitor your assets remotely, access data 24-7, and receive real-time alarms wherever you are.